Hey, what's up, guys? It's Jay Elliott, and today I'm just going to do a quick Q&A regarding Musics Pro, so let's just get right into it. All right, so lately the question I've been getting asked the most is, hey, Jay, what app is that, and how are you using it with other apps? If you don't know what I'm talking about, let me refresh your memory. That app is called Musics Pro, which is a musical instrument and an isomorphic MIDI keyboard. An isomorphic keyboard is a musical device where a grid of notes is displayed to the user and the interval change between notes and constant for any given direction. The end result is the ability to move a musical passage between keys without learning a new fingering or spatial relation. What this means is that once you have learned a pattern, say a chord or a scale, that pattern is the same for all keys. Songwriters benefit by discovering new melodies and musical relationships. Novices find it easy to learn to play, Experienced musicians are rewarded with an intuitive interface. There is quite a bit to learn about this app, which I'm still trying to learn as well. In another video, I will go over a bit more and show you how I like to use it. But for now, let me quickly show you how to use it with other apps. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys two different ways you can do this. The first way I'm gonna show you how to do it is how to run Musics Pro within Beatmaker 3. And then I'll also show you how to do it standalone by itself while running another app. So let's get right into it. So let's go ahead and open Beatmaker 3. I'll just start a new session. Go to my plugins, audio units, and I'll just select Tines. Now I'll open up Musics Pro. And if you see over here in the top left corner, this drop down menu will pop up. And then if I look over here on the left hand side, I want to click on the little guitar looking tab. Now, as you can see in the MIDI section, Beatmaker 3 is listed. So if we tap on that, and if we look down over here, it shows Beatmaker 3 and it's showing that it's sending. If you tap on the sending button, you can turn it off or on. So right now it's on. And if I go ahead and start pressing the buttons, you're going to hear the key start to play. I'm going to close everything now. So now I'll just open up Korg ARP Odyssey. And I'll open up Musics Pro again. Now I'll go down to the drop down menu. Now, if you see in the MIDI section, uh, Odyssey is there listed. So if we tap on that, it's already sending. So if I go ahead and start pressing the buttons, you'll hear the noise come through. And that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple. As soon as you open up Musics Pro, there's not too much configuration that you need to do. All right, let me just take off these headphones. So if you have more than one app opened up, the only thing that you'll have to do is activate or deactivate which apps that you want to use. And if you wanted to, you can use more than one app at the same time. It just all depends on what kind of sound you're going for. I'm going to do another video regarding this app, dive into it a little bit more, kind of show you how I use it within my music production, how I come up with chords, you know, just some little things here and there. All right, y'all. Thanks for watching. Until the next one. Peace.